Okay, so this one is more of a cheat than a tip, but I'm going to show you it anyway, because that's what I do. Have you ever put in the header attribute into your component and you've put in details, settings, audio, something like that, and then wondered why it's only slightly bold and it really doesn't stand out from any of the others? Well, we can actually cheat the system and make it stand out ourselves. Now, how do we do that? Well, if we go into Bridge in Visual Studio, this is our component, and here's that header attribute. We can see that basically this, if we go to the definition, is an attribute, a property attribute that Unity is using under Unity Engine. But if we actually added our own header attribute under our own namespace, well, then this would look at that attribute rather than Unity's one, and then basically we could write our own decoration drawer again in that namespace that made it look a lot better. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we come into our scripts, we create a brand new c -sharp script and we call it header attributes. And we make sure it's named exactly the same as Unity's. We look at the Unity code and we steal it because that's what we do. We come in, we paste it into here and we basically fix this one up. So using system and then we just finish off the constructor for it. Header equals header. Great stuff. Now, if we go into bridge, if we right click on bridge and go to definition, it will actually go to our header attribute under our namespace warped imagination. The last thing to do is to create our header decorator drawer. So we'll make a new class, header decorator drawer. There we are, and we'll open that up in Visual Studio. And if you're interested in decorator drawers, I'll leave a link in the description to a longer video where I talk about how to create them. And you can see much more detail than the stuff I'm gonna rush through really here. So we want to drive from the decorator drawer. We want a custom property type. And then we want to send it, say that we're gonna use the header attribute for that. So that's basically telling Unity when the header attribute comes up, use this decorator drawer. We're going to override the first thing, which is the get height. And what we're going to do is this is just to give us a little bit more space around our actual header, because you know, you want to make it stand out. And we're going to give it a single line item. I'm just going to say, yeah, double line for this particular item. Okay, so the next thing we're going to override is the on GUI, because this is the drawing segment. We'll get rid of the base because we're not interested. And then again, we're going to give it a little bit of space around the header just to make it stand out. So we'll come in, edit a GUI, there we go. And we're going to use the single line height again, and we're going to multiply that by a half this time. This is just to give it a little bit of space around. Okay, so we're going to want to make this stand out. We're not going to want to make it look the same. So we're going to give it a style of its own. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rob the editor styles bold label so that just gives us a good place to start from and we're going to say that actually we want to use rich text so this just means we can make our label stand out even more give it color etc okay so now we're going to actually create the label for our header so gui content label equals new gui content and this is where we start typing in our string that we're actually interested in so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to say I want some color and I want to make it light blue so it doesn't, you know, it isn't garish, you know, it does blend a little bit. And I'm going to say the size wants to be 14. And the thing I like to do is I like to actually close out my tabs straight away. And there we go, size and color. And then I like to come back in and actually create the string itself. Now the thing we're going to enter here is the attribute, the header attribute. So we'll take in attribute as header attribute and we'll just want to enclose this there we go and we're going to say if it's there okay give us the header so all that's doing is it's taking the header variable from the header attribute the one you can see here and it's basically pulling it into the label now next thing we want to do is draw the label so gui label and we're going to put this at a position that comes into the on gui and then we're going to say label and the last thing we're going to do is give it some style brilliant save that jump back into unity and now in unity if we press on our bridge you can see it standing out nice and clear there's the light blue and the sizing and the extra spacing and now it looks different than all the variables down below it but remember you have to keep it within your namespace for this to be able to work